Okay, today this is an easy lesson. I mean, real easy. This part here. Find the slope and y-intercept of the graph of each equation. Now we did this last year, but you probably don't remember it. You put slope y in it. Just abbreviate it. Slope is known as m, which we already cut. Y-intercept for some reason is known as b. Now there is a reason, but you don't. You're not going to learn it today. But just know that it's b. Make a wall on your y side, dot your x. So dot numbers, your m, b, negative 2. Your slope I want as a ratio. Put a 1 under it. The y-intercept does not need to be in a ratio. You can just put negative 2. I want it lined up like that. Okay, next one. Slope, y int. Slope is known as m, y-intercept is b. Make a wall on the y side. The y is going to be by itself. And that's your m. It's m times x plus, and that's your b. So negative one, negatives just to the one over two. Y intercept two thirds. We don't have to graph that, so don't worry about it. Okay, m slope y int. Again, slope is m. Y intercepts b. So it's m times the x. So negative seven, and then b. Make sure your negative 7 goes over 1, please. Okay, slope, y int, and then you want, I want to see the variables, m and b. Okay, so m, you don't have a b. You're going to put plus 0 then. Okay, and that's your b. You can add 0 to it, 0. So you, don't, you already had 1 third, so you're good. Okay, slope. Y int. Where the heck's the x? You don't have it, so guess what? The slope's zero. Okay, that's a b value. If it ain't multiplied by an x, if it's not dot x, it's a b. Okay, negative seven. Okay, next one. Slope y int. Okay, so m b. So slope's eight. I want to see a one go under that. 24. I need the slope as a ratio for reasons I'll establish in the other one. Okay. Okay. So times, that's your M, that's your B. Slope is the M. I want that expressed in ratio form over 1, and then positive 5 is your Y intercept. Okay. M, if it's the dot x, it's your M plus 0, that's your B. Slope Y int. Slope 0 0.3, express as a ratio over 1, and then 0. That's the first part of your assignment. Okay, it's pretty easy. Second part, you're taking the M and B and writing the equation. It's really easy. Write an equation on line with the given slope and y-intercept. All you simply do, and by the way, M's your slope, B's your y-intercept. You don't have to write that every time. You can go y equals blank x plus blank, okay? Blank times x, I should say. You don't need the dot if you don't want it. It can be just blank x, but we got to have the x there. This is M, this is B. Negative one-third. Five. There's your answer. Okay, it's all you do. But I need it in that form. Y equals blank times x plus blank. That's your m. That's your b. Zero point eight seven. Y equals blank times x plus blank. That's your m. That's your b. M is one third. B is one and one fourth. Y equals blank times X plus blank. That's your M. That's your B. Your M is negative 5. Your B is negative 7. Okay. Y equals blank X plus blank M B. Your M is negative 4. Your B is negative 8. And that's what I want to see. I don't even really need to see the M and the B. Okay. But yeah, I put the M and the B. Okay. It's not that hard. You're going to go like that. Okay, that's it for this video. Pretty short, and then there's another one.